I want to examine rather briefly this epistemological debate about know-how. It's usually framed, perhaps unhelpfully, in terms of intellectualism, which very crudely and slightly inaccurately is the view that human know-how can best be explained in terms of uh, mental rather than action terms. So, for example, know-how is knowing that a certain proposition is the case or being acquainted with a way of doing something. Rileyanism, a term I use to indicate the tradition arising from the work of Gilbert Ryle, emphasizes the role of action in attributing know-how to individuals. Uh, perhaps underplays, possibly, the role that propositional or systematic knowledge has in people's know-how. So it's not necessarily the best way of looking at these questions, thinking of it in terms of a, a kind of ding-dong battle between these two positions. I'm going to argue that neither Rileyanism, at least conceived in a simplistic way, nor intellectualism are adequate for giving an account of how professional practice can be assessed.